I'm a teacher at the school right over here, uh, but I'm also um, a member of the Game Nights um, Chorus, and I'm a member of the Chorus uh, after this last event organized the uh, Gay Against Guns. Well, they started in New York, and apparently we're, we're, um, they're helping us out, and we're organizing. Um, I was going to say, like, uh, Orlando was a year and a half ago, and and there was a similar effort, but it just didn't go anywhere. And now that um, some teenagers have empowered themselves, they've—I uh, think—they've empowered um, many more than just uh, just everyone who's against guns. It's like, and it's, I think it's great that there's this momentum going. Now. And so, why do you think it's an important? Or why do you think? I guess I should probably pull the mic here now. Um, why do you think it's important to unite the LGBTQ and anti-gun violence communities? Sorry to I, don't know. On the spot, I don't know. I think it's just a, it's just a subgroup. I mean, I, I don't. Um, I mean, we could point it towards Orlando, but the truth of the matter is, is like anyone in this country is at risk, no matter where you go. I mean, there's been uh, churches, movie theaters, uh, clubs, uh, concerts. You know, every <laughs> walk of American life has been affected. So I think that any group within the um, United States should have the same concerns and um, and. Uh, organize. Oh, I'm so happy you guys again. How water good water So my name is John Griffith. Um, I'm here mostly because I'm just sick. I'm really sick of violence. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of watching people get killed. I'm sick of guns, and I'm tired. I'm just tired. So awesome. fighting, fighting for children's lives now. Deborah, and why is this so important to me? Because um, I have nieces and nephews, I have grandkids, and I think violence is not the way of life. Negativity is not the way of life. I believe if you work hard for something, in, in I don't know, but anyways, um, I believe the guns need to come off the streets. I've seen too many kids die around me. I mean, around here in the South Bay, and. Um, my purpose of standing here is support the kids and support the next generation that is coming up like you. who were very affected by the shooting in Florida um, and I just think it's really dumb how politicians are just sitting up there in Washington not doing anything.
not want them to be legal to purchase. Um, and loopholes. I lived in the South for 10 years. It's very different than Massachusetts. I used to pass by a sign every, every day that said gun show tonight. It's, it's frightening. Um, conceal and carry is ridiculous. They allow that in South Carolina, for example. It's just, I would rather, I wish the rest of the country would look to Massachusetts and see what we do, and we're not perfect by any means, but there's something to be said for our laws, don't you think? And this woman, this hideous state of Irish, crying white mother, she's the new Ann Coulter. She's a hideous, hideous person. I hope for her sake she's never a crying white mother. <laughs> Yeah.